The story now, rooibos extracts could be the next game changer in skin care and the treatment of skin cancer. The Applied Microbial and Health Biotechnology Institute at the Cape Peninsula University of Technology, uh, CPUT, is using phytosome nanotechnology to enhance the bioavailability of rooibos extracts uh, in skin products. Well, that's a mouthful, and clearly I'm battling with it. Let's bring in someone who won't battle with it. Uh, Dr. Mariska Lili joins me now to unpack what it is that they've found. Doc, thank you for your time, and good evening to you. Uh, when I was a, a, a reporter years ago, I, I would dabble in science re reporting, and you'd be sitting with this massive story uh, that is so exciting. After, as a reporter, you've read it four times, and you finally can make sense of it, and you find that it is absolutely exciting but now try telling it to someone else and helping them to make sense of it. And that's where the challenge uh, comes in. Let me pose that challenge to you then. What exactly is phytosome nanotechnology? And I hope I'm pronouncing that first part of things correctly. Nanotechnology, we sort of get an idea what it is, but what is phytosome nanotechnology? Um, phytosome nanotechnology yeah, it is a phytosome is basically packing the rooibos extract within a lipid vesicle um, that resembles a cell to make it more uh, uh, available for your cells to absorb. Um, yeah, so, so that is basically in a nutshell. At this stage, the phytosome technology is just in the um, in the starting. So we're starting off with that uh, technology, but the rooibos extract we have uh, done quite a few, quite a lot of research on, um, looking at skin and inflammation and treating inflammation in skin. Sure. So phytosome nanotechnology plus um, the qualities of rooibos extracts. Um, how, how are you combining the two and, 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 and tapping into the potency of, of, of rooibos extracts uh, for these particular conditions, uh, skin conditions? Okay, so, so with rooibos and what, what our models in the laboratory is looking at um, pre and post exposure to UV in skin. So um, rooibos contains unique combination of polyphenols. That's the natural compound found in the rooibos, which, which gives it the the uh, antioxidant ability. So we, we did found in the lab that rooibos protects against inflammation in skin cells. And what we know is that chronic inflammation is one of the, one of the hallmarks of skin cancer. So, so that, in that way, we can say that rooibos is chemo preventative. So um, our studies are looking at, uh, looking at several biomarkers involved in inflammation and cell viability and cell death. Um, so yeah, so, so our models look at, we have skin cells in vitro in the laboratory, treating them with rooibos, and then we expose the skin cells to UV and vice versa. We also treat the cells to UV and then treat them with rooibos, and we do f find that it is anti-inflammatory. Um, yeah, so, so we work on, our models are on the chemo prevention level and not uh, when cancer is already uh, a full blown, if I can put it like that. So the idea is to have a, a, a cream or sunscreen that is tested, um, also post sun cream that is tested. What we also do found in the laboratory, it depends on the rebels concentration. If the concentration is too low, um, there's no visible effect, and if the concentration is too high, it could have the, possible, uh, the opposite effect. So our studies is to develop a scientifically based skin protection product, um, which will also strengthening the, the value and marketability of, of rebels in South Africa and also in the world, sure. if I can put it like that. Yeah. But Rebels, rebels um, like the, is a complex molecule, so the idea of packing it within a phytosome will make it more um, bioavailable um, in the in a skin product. It will also, uh, how can I say, lengthen shelf life, stability, 
um, your solubility, um, so it will have a lot more long-term benefits. Sure. I like what you just did there, uh, Dr. Lili, because you took it to the next step where I was going to ask you, um, you know, applicability in terms of how exactly do you plan on packaging this <laughs> such that it starts making a difference and intervening in, in situations where people have this skin condition. So uh, you did perfectly well there. I wanted to ask you, though, about the anti-inflammatory uh, qualities of rooibos and rooibos extracts. Uh, so your answer to the question that says, uh, you know, some people would say, some people are skeptical and people would say, it's all marketing. It's got to do with the rooibos industry wanting you to believe that it's, this is a super product and it's, uh, you know, people likening it to what the avocado industry mm. did in the United States many, many decades ago, uh, I'm told. Um, so your answer to that would be to say, actually, rooibos actually does work, it is powerful. Mm. Yes, yes. Um, like I said, we've got the rebels. We make the rebels extracts in our laboratory and we've tested them on skin cells and we look at biological markers. Um, IL-1-alpha is one of the uh, cytokines that we look at and it reduces, it reduces the, uh, that molecule and that is one of the first molecules um, uh, that I, that causes that stimulates that whole um, an inflammatory process. Um, Cox two is another one that we also looked at, and Rebels also reduces that. So clinically, um, well, in vitro in our cells, we've tested that. So the next step would be to get um, skin biopsies and to, to take it further uh, to look at at, at human um, skin skin biopsies and if it does the same. Yeah. But with, which I would suggest it does. Yeah. So in the last while, we've all learned to just, you know, pay attention to these processes from a, a, a hypothesis uh, to research, to laboratory work, to a final product that's on the shelves and available for people to use. How far are we, if we were to project, uh, from um, phytosome nanotechnology uh, plus polyphenols uh, in rooibos equals a kind of skin product, a, um, a sunscreen uh, that one can buy off the shelves? So we, we have started, we have initial, initial data. We have um, um, started to, to produce the, the um, phytosomes. So the next step would be to test that on our skin cells and see if we get the same response in the skin cells as, as what we do with the rebels extract. Um, and then um, probably take it further from there. So I would probably say two to three years. All right, fantastic. I've got to thank you for your time and your insights and, and holding my hand and walking me through the science and, 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 and the technology involved in all of this. Dr. Mariska Lilly from the CPUT Applied Microbial and Health Biotechnology Institute there talking to us about some inter interesting uh, developments involving rooibos.